about my story, about what uh, brought me to a live plant-based diet. Um, <laughs> I started back in 2007 because the seven prior years um, I had been dealing with a hormone imbalance. I've really been dealing with that since I was 11. Um, but it became really serious when I moved from Kansas City, Missouri and was being treated one way and then I moved to California and they wanted to treat me a different way. And that was the first time I learned about treating symptoms instead of the root problem. Um, and, and apparently that's really what the medical model in America has really gone to, is just treating symptoms instead of getting to the root cause. So I spent um, you know, seven years being uh, treated for the symptoms of a hormone imbalance instead of the hormone balance itself, which led me to, um, I had a lot of different medications, they didn't work. Um, and the last one I had taken, I gained, had a really bad allergic reaction. I gained um, 50 pounds or a little, about 25 kilos in just under three weeks. So that was a lot of weight very, very quickly. And for the remaining several years, I was in a lot of pain. But at that point, I didn't trust the doctors anymore. So I was trying to find you know, my own way and you know, with my, my regular doctor. And then he said, I can't help you either. You gotta go see specialists. And it just ended up worse and worse, more medication, more side effects. So um, I, gave, I gave all that up um, and changed to a plant-based diet. And when I did that, I spent about two weeks um, trying out the recipes out of Victoria Botenko's 12 Steps to a Raw Food Diet. It's a, a very quick read, very thin book. Um, and uh, I picked April 13th of 2007 to try her suggestion of going 100% raw for 60 days. You know, the, the amount of pain I was in, what 60 days? Uh, if I could possibly get out of pain and continue to have, a, you know, an enjoyable life. shot. In less than 30 days, I was completely pain-free and off all my medication. And, um, yes, please, feel free. Yeah. Um, and uh, then another two weeks went by, and I started waking up consistently two hours earlier every morning. And what I, what I learned from that was I didn't need as much sleep to heal because I slept. I didn't set an alarm. My alarm really wasn't supposed to go off until 6, but I was waking up at 4 a.m. every morning. So I adjusted the time that I went to bed. I stopped going to bed. I think it was probably like 8 or 9. I started to go to bed around 10 instead. And, um, and then I, I've also learned since then, the more sleep you can get before midnight, the better. So now I go to bed a little earlier, usually between 9 and 10, and I usually wake up between 3 and 4. And that's considered, you know, uh, some people call it quiet time or God's time. It's like you can connect the best within a spiritual realm that way. So I've switched, you know, the times I go to bed. Um, but back then, it was, I didn't want to wake up at 4 a.m. That was like beyond my scope of reality. I was like, I don't want to be up when it's that dark. So I went to bed later, got up around 6 a.m. again, and um, I calculated that out because it was happening consistently. And I'm one of those people that I've always been resistant to sleeping. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time doing that kind of thing when I could be going out learning and exploring and, you know, living life. So it was exciting that I gained back two hours a day. So I calculated that out. That's a full 30 extra days a year. So I get to enjoy a 13 month year while everybody else has a 12 month year. So it's a lot of fun. I get to do a lot more things.